What up, everybody? It's your boy SGFL, man, and we are back with another video. You dig, man? And next up on the channel, man, first time blessing the SGFL collective, man, is Vavine. All right, we got Vavine on the channel, and she's bringing us should have been you. All right, so we're gonna take a listen to this tonight. As always, make sure you guys like, share, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend about your boy. Humbly appreciate it. We are still on our road. To be count the roads ever going in, you know, we always gonna be on this road of being the number one channel on YouTube for the new aspiring up and coming artists in the music industry, man. So make sure you guys tap in, make sure you subscribe if you want to check out new fantastic artists, get somebody new into your playlist, into your rotation of your daily life, or some new music you just want her to share with your family and friends. You know what I'm saying? So what we're gonna do here is what I'm gonna provide and we're gonna go from there. But quickly with Vivine, Vivine up next, man. Should have been you. Also Quick little backstory. I love when the artist sends in things like, you know, um, help us better understand who they are as uh, musicians and things like that, how they got started, what the song is about, how it came to fruition, man. So simply and quickly, it just says, Vivine is a singer-songwriter and has sold over 5 million records across Europe with Entrance, scoring four UK top 10 hits and 12 UK top 40 entries with songs such as Turn Up the Power, Staying Alive, Paradise City, Levine left at the height of their fame to join the new incarnation of Drizzabone. Hope I said it right. Hope I pronounced it right. As a solo artist, Levine has featured on various Ministry of Sounds projects in the past, including Don't Look Back, which was a huge hit in the dance charts, reaching number five in the UK and included on the MOS Heed Condi. Hope I said it right. Head Candy Summer Album. The song was released under the name ATFC and Ghost Copy. Vavine contributed the vocals and was the lyricist. All right. So, hey, Vavine has a catalog. She has a musical resume. She knows what she's doing. She knows her way around a microphone. You know what I'm saying? So, we're going to most definitely tap in and check out, listen to this. Should have been you. And, um, of course, if you're interested, you want to hear more from Vavine, make sure you check the link in the description because that will have you all the, uh, the socials and everything like that man so if you want to tap in and tune in and stay abreast and uh up to date and current on what she has coming but without further ado man because i don't want to do too much more talking man let's jump right here into should have been you by vavine y'all ready let's go uh oh coming out the gate bopping your head Got that retro essence, man. So like I'm like, gonna praise dancing, y'all say. Professional man, she know what she's doing. Do 
Let's go, man. <laughs> Let me see what my mom is going to enjoy. I can't wait to send this to her. Marvel being girl, same. Especially nowadays, you ain't found no love. I gotta have dancers next to me. Just... When you found someone who really needs you, uh, hold on. Uh, hold on. I swear I thought it was color, it is. This is probably the most professional song we'll discuss. Miss Vivine was should have been you, man. That song right there. I'm first of all, let me come out here and say I think that this is the most professional sounding song I've done. Um, when I started this whole up and coming new artist trying to get their name out there type of spin, when I transitioned into you know this avenue of the music industry, man, I'm gonna give Vivine top top praises, man. That is the most professionally sounded produced qualitative song track out that i've i've come across and i've had some bangers i had some dope songs on dope thing but when i tell you like that actually has every ticks every box every single one that you can tell person has a lot of knowledge in this craft in this industry this is not their first time they're not in nobody's basement they're not recording in a closet this is professional studio time polished fleshed out music vocals the whole package man plus i like the aspect too that it was giving me almost like those retro r&b sounding vibes like this is why i should hear like a song like from martin when it was on or fresh prince or the wayne's brothers and stuff like that man you know what i'm saying jamie fox shows Cedric entertainment shows steve Harvey. that era that catalog of like sitcom black home sitcom type thing man this plays in a Medea movie. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. This is like one of those kind where, like I can say it, I'm going to send this to my mother. I know this is right up her alley. She loves it. It's like I said, you see how you're going to dance while we got that same premise to it, man. That is nice. Vivine is super talented, but you already know that because I ran down some, which I'm sure there's not everything, other accolades that she already accumulated in her career with her, um, um, her past you know what i'm saying we'll say in trans things like that so we already know she knows exactly what she's doing fire of a song man like i said like it's such like a, like a positive like people opens like their mind when you make songs like that and it has people and it push them into that situation or in their mind frame of like should have been you like we all can reminisce we all can like pull stories from our brains that this will fit right in the lyrics, the voice, the like the um, certain aspect of the song, certain bars, sentences like that. We can fine tune and pinpoint exactly at some point in our life where that fits in just right. Whether it's talking to us, where we've been naive, where we've been blind, we thought the grass was greener, things like that. And as long as you continue to pull on and tug on heartstrings from people and you allow them to actually go down a little bit of memory lane, good, bad, or indifferent from them, and they're able to like understand a song or just like superimpose themselves into that and just like you bring back some type of memory man you will always win and have a fan base and garner attention and people would like double back and hear songs over and over be in spotify playlist once again they'd be sharing it with families and friends you know what i'm saying so as long as you continue to do it you you will be infamous you will never die out or anything like that you always be at someone's mind their music will always live on through someone, whether they're sharing it, posting somewhere else, have it on um, a CD, a track, something. You know what I'm saying? Veen is nice. I like it. That whole, that whole premise. That should have been. It's, 
quality. That's stuff you're going to hear on like albums, you're going to hear on singers, you can hear on radio, DSP, and the spin this, all this, man. So you got my praise, props to you. I enjoy it. Like I said, I can't wait. I'm going to stop it. I just got my mother into YouTube. So now I can make it easy for her. She got the whole YouTube ready where she can be at work and playing it, had the screen off and the music still goes like YouTube smart for making people pay for that but still huh, you know but it's good it's useful you know what i mean so i can't wait to send this to him like check this out mom <laughs> what do you think and i'll touch bases with y'all again and let you know exactly what she rates it i'm sure i already know what she's gonna rate but as always from me to you until next time and it will be soon it's your boy sgfl and i'm out